Somebody asked me if developer jobs are dominated by one or two industries. So he mentioned big tobacco. What else did he mention? Alcohol industries, whatnot, and so forth. Bottom line is this, is that web design and development is not do dominated by any industry. Just about every single business in the world, profit-oriented profit or non-profit, is going to require some sort of website and some sort of web presence. That's just a given. And in fact, a lot of the websites that are out there were built years ago to old standards, and they haven't been updated in a long time. And they're going to need to be updated at some point in the future. So I think there's just a huge amount of work still in the web development space, like a huge amount of work, much more than what people would realize. I was actually at breakfast today with a friend of mine who's, uh, who's uh, he's a plumber. And he's in the, getting into the plumbing business now. He's, he's working as a plumber for a while. And he was talking about websites he goes to related to what he does and how they're just so old and archaic. Eventually, these old sites are going to have to be updated and these things are going to have to be addressed. And that's why independent freelance web developers have a huge opportunity going forth. Now, the web has been around since 94 about. Well, it's been around a little longer, but really publicly as the public internet, say 95, it started, started kicking up a little bit. And we're still in the beginnings. You know, an industry that's 15, 20 years old, there's so much more to do. There's so much more to do. I'm still fascinated about how uh, old school, in a bad way, a lot of websites are these days, and how there's so much, uh, there's so much work to do. And so this whole notion that you're limited to an industry or a couple industries when it comes to web design, that's just not the truth. It's everywhere. And the idea that the web is old news and that there's no more work, it's, I did a vlog, just a previous vlog, showing how that's clearly not the case. There's still so much work. In fact, demand is only growing, especially as the economy changes. There is uh, no greater time ever, ever, and I've been in business for a lot longer, longer than 20 years, there's no better time ever to be a freelancer and there's no better time ever to be an entrepreneur because things are so accessible in terms of business uh, opportunities and tools. What it took to do something 15 years ago, I mean, how difficult it was 20 years ago to launch a business. Today, it's really, really easy. And the reason it's really, really easy is because it's all based around the web and web technologies. Today, if you want to have a business, you're going to have to have a website. You can make your website responsive so it works on smartphones and tablets just by using responsive techniques. Again, a good course and fundamentals will teach you that, no big deal. And, uh, and because the web is still such an important medium, I think it's the most important. I think a lot of traffic is moving off of, well, eyeballs rather, is moving off of TV onto the web. Uh, millennials and younger, they don't watch TV, they go to the web in one form or another. So being a web professional at some level or another, whether you're a web developer, a web designer, whether you combine your web design skills with SEO and web marketing skill sets, all these opportunities are there if you just take the time to learn the stuff and then, then to execute on it. So it's not locked into any industry. It's not locked into any, uh, I don't know, what's the word, demographic, if you will. It's just way, way, way open still. I would think there's at least another good 10 years or so before the web matures. And when the web matures, it doesn't mean the game is over. It just means is that the huge growth spike that we're seeing, we have seen, is over. But even after an industry matures, like the automobile industry, it's matured. It's still a massive industry, right? People still buy cars. So even in 10 years from now, 15 years from now, when websites are far more advanced and there's a lot, you know, a lot of stuff has been cleaned up that still needs to be cleaned up now, there's still going to be tons of work because anybody who's out there working in the real world of web development or web design, you know that there's a constant need for change and update, even with the simplest sites. So again, this it's you're not restricted to any particular field. If you want to, for example, work 
strictly for green-based companies, I'm sure you could specialize as a web developer designer who just works with companies that work on green-based products, renewable energies, et cetera, et cetera. There's a lot of things, and there's something to be said about that in terms of a business idea to put together uh, a web develop, development agency or a freelancing business based on a particular a sector in the economy. Maybe you become a, an expert at putting together sites for uh, veterinarians. Maybe you're an expert at putting together sites for uh, coffee shops. I know it sounds weird, but if you work, let's say, on veterinarian sites, there's probably a whole bunch of commonalities that all of the vet sites are going to need. And then what you could do is you could develop a nice workflow around building a site, just sites for just veterinarians, which means you'll be able to build the sites much more quickly, much more effectively uh, than people who are more general web designers or developers. And that could be a nice niche market that you could do. That's just one example. Maybe you become an expert developer for um, breakfast places. So you can put together uh, really quick for bed and breakfasts or something. Who knows, right? You see that in um, Airbnb uh, specialized businesses that help Airbnb people promote their properties and so forth. So there's all kinds of different areas that this can be pursued. It's just beginning. I don't know how many more years it has, but according to recent studies, at least another 10 years of major, of major growth. And I think it's going to be even bigger, especially when you see uh, countries like India and China are still growing like crazy and many other countries out there where they're just getting into the international game in terms of uh, their ability to spend. Uh, same thing with all these African nations. Uh, it's, 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 you know, many other places in the world. So if you're looking at the profession, you're looking at software development or web design, web development, and you're worried about uh, job opportunities, the future, don't be. It's tremendous. And you're worried as this guy put the question to me, will you have to work in a particular industry you don't want to work in? No, there's there's so many opportunities for you. It's um, I wouldn't be too concerned about that. So there you have it. That's it for today's vlog. Bye-bye.